good evening uh, today we are going to solve again one problem that is on compression member uh, and uh, uh, this time we are going to solve the problem uh, related with single angle section now uh, we have let us an isa 1968 mm is used as a strut in a truss the length of this truss strut between the intersection is 2.75 meter calculate the strength of the strut if it is connected by two boards at each end which is fixed connection so we have two types in that table if we will go to table 12 then we are going to get two cases over there one will be fixed and another will be hinged i have considered here both the cases fixed and hinged but for two different uh, number of bolts one that is for two bolts and another we have that is for one bolt that table also we will see in this video so we have these three cases and we have to solve the problem or uh, rather we will say we are interested to analyze the isa 9060 by 8 for three these three cases now uh, first we have to go for the properties of this section and we are going to use to solve this problem clause number 7.5.1.2 page number 848 uh, by considering that angle is connected through one leg only that is not concentric connection i will say eccentric one then it is connected by two boards at each end fixed connection properties of this section you can see i have taken this from table 808 and these properties we are going to get you are you can see this we have a uh, area of this so we have 11.4 cm square so 1140 mm square rvv you can see over here so we have value of rvv and that value we are going to get it as 112.8 1.28 cm because we have to take r minimum and when we will go for single angle section in single angle section r minimum is always we are vv uh, then we will go with uh, uh, formula that is lambda vv which will be l upon r vv epsilon root of pi square e upon 250 now if we will go to the clause then actually in clause they have written roofs epsilon pi square epsilon upon 250 but this is not epsilon this is value of e and then we will substitute l is the uh, distance between the intersections we have 2750 r vb we have 12.8 and then pi square into 2 raised 2 into 10 to 5 upon 250 Which will give us 2.42 value. Then we have to find lambda of phi, and we have b1 plus b2 upon 2t. Again, epsilon root pi square e upon 250, which will give me value 0.106. So now, if we will go to the table 12 to know the k1, k2, k3 constant, I already mentioned we have two cases: one that is greater than or equal to two volt, and one we have only one volt. and for these two cases again we have two types one fixed connection another hinge fixed another hinge and if you will see the values then my values of k1 here 0.2 0.7 0.35 0.6 20 40 and uh, so only in this case we have 20 60 so here only if you will see these values are going to be increased only for this this value is decrease here also you can see your values are increased and now we will go with k1 0.2 k2 0.35 and k3 we have 20 so we have these three values then lambda e we will find and we have formula k1 plus k2 lambda v v square plus k3 lambda phi square and we will substitute the values and by substituting this value i will get value of lambda e as 1.57 now knowing this value of lambda e we are going to calculate value of uh, phi and we will get this value 0.51 plus alpha lambda minus 0.2 plus lambda square and by substituting all these values 
so we have this lambda as 1.57 now here we have to consider this lambda that is lambda equivalent so this we are going to consider here lambda equivalent and then from this i will get value of phi 2.068 now we will substitute this value of phi in fcd equation and from this we will get value of fcd this will be 66.57 mpa so our value this value this value should be less if i have this value less then automatically my denominator will be less and if my denominator less automatically my fcd will be larger one and if my fcd is larger one then you will get value of F, uh, pd that will be larger one now you can see we have to check it that uh, member is semi compact or not by using table 2 we have bd values so b by t is less than 15.7 satisfied d by t also less than 15.7 satisfied and third criteria b plus d by t also satisfied and therefore ae equal to 1140 mm square if we will substitute it in pd equal to ae into fcd then we will get this value as 75.89 kN now we have second case case it is connected by one bolt at each end and then again properties we have same but the change this value will be as it is now change we are going to get we have hinge connection and then one bolt so we have these values now you can see this value is very large so automatically your value that is for lambda e will be large if lambda e is large then we have phi large if phi is large then our fcd value will be reduced and automatically reduced and then automatically your value of pd also reduces and then you can see this so we have this value so lambda e if you will see then we will get lambda e 2.2 and if lambda e is 2.2 we will get phi as 3.41 now substitute this in fcd then it will come across value of fcd is very less 37.78 mpa and then we will have this value less now instead of this if we will go to the fixed connection then your value of k3 will be 20 and then your value will be little bit increased for fcd uh, so we have this will be pd then and pd we will get 43.07 kN so if we will reduce um, one bolt then our strength will be reduced a lot then it is welded at each joint the strength of the welded strut will be same as that of the single strut connected with two bolts because we are going to connect consider it as fixed connection and therefore our values will be as fixed connection and we will get value of pd that is equal to 75.89 kN same as case 1 so thank you so we have this will be about your compression member and that is for single angle thank you